Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so in this topic, after learning how to find items in Navisworks, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach you <clears throat> how to save uh, search sets and selection sets. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to teach you also what's the difference between the selection set and then the search set. Okay, all right. So let me just open my NWF file. Okay, so why do we need to save a selection set, or why do we need to save a search set? Because you you don't want to uh, search for the same thing over and over again, right? So wouldn't uh, wouldn't it be nice to be able to find an item or an entire group of items and save that as a search or a selection set? Okay, so that is actually what we are going to do. So instead of repeatedly searching and searching again the elements from the from the uh, from the selection tree or from the scene view. You can actually save your selection set or search set. Okay, so to do that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my duct. So let's say I'm going to, uh, I want to save this duct, the group of my duct. So I'm going to select this. And then after that, I'm going to click this drop down arrow. I'm going to select here uh, same name, okay? So it will highlight all the elements with the same name. So as you can see from the properties here, it says 720, 23 items selected. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this selection, uh, selection set, all right? So how to do that? So after you select an object or objects, you can select here, save selection. So I'm going to select this one. Okay, so this is our set style box. So you just need to change the name here. So let's say this is our docs. And then enter. Okay, so if you're going to escape now. Okay, so no need for you to select it manually. So there is another way for you to select it. Okay, so this is by going to your sets. Okay, so all you have to do is to click there and voila. So you'll be able to select your objects uh, easily. All right. And of course, you can hide unselected elements. Okay, and then you'll be able to see your duct here. Okay. Right. So this is our uh, selection set. The other one is search set. Okay. I already teach you how to find an items, right? So that is what we are going to do next. So I'm going to select a find items. Okay. All right. So this is our find items. And then for the category, I'm going to select here item. The property is, uh, let's say name that contains uh air terminal okay so that will be the filter okay this one so item name that contains air terminal right then after that i'm going to select oh by the way let me just unhide first the objects so i'm going to select unhide all okay there you go now to find now all the item that contains name as the uh, air terminals as its name so i'm going to select your find all so just select this one there you go so you will notice it's now highlighted here and then as you can see from the properties it's uh, four items selected okay so this will be different types of air terminals so it contains air terminals on its name okay so after you have select or after you have searched these elements, so you can now again proceed to save this. This time, we are not going to select your save selection. So what we're going to do is, we're going to select sets here. Okay, and then you can select manage sets. 
Anyway, we already opened this, right? This is actually the one. So you can click this. There you go. So this time, I'm going to select this one. Save search. Okay, the other one is save selection. The other one is save search. So after you select the object or after you have searched it, so I'm going to select this save search. Okay, and then I'm going to put here air terminals. Okay, so as you can see, the difference between the icons of our selection set, the other one is air terminals. So same with your se uh, selection sets, your search sets also can also be isolated. So I can select hide and select it. So it will isolate all your air terminals. Now, what is the best practice? So what is the difference between your air terminals? Oh, I mean your search set and selection set. Okay, let me just pin this one. Okay. Okay, so the golden rule for success is... Most of the time, use search sets for everything you do in Navisworks, okay? There are, of course, places where selection sets come in useful, but basically, as a personal uh, advice to you guys who is uh, using uh, sets, so it would be better if you use your search sets, okay? Selection sets, as you can see, just like what I did, are created whenever you select some items and save them to a set. Or search for some items, then save the selected items to create a static uh, selection for later use, right? You can select the objects, and then after that, you can save it. Or you can select this one. Okay? So what will happen is, let's say, for example, you have updated the link model or your NWC file. You updated that. And then let's say you have deleted some of the doc. Okay, this is our uh, doc, right? So let's say this is part of the link in Revit. So what happened is in Revit, you added some doc and then you go back again to your Navisworks. So what will happen is, your uh, selection set, it will not be updated. So you need to select again that additional deck that you have added to your uh, model. And then after that, you need to save it again as a selection set. Whereas, let's say for example, you have modified this model in Revit. And then after that, you add some air terminals. You have deleted some air terminals. And then after that, you save it. So, after you open again your NWF, what will happen is your air terminals will be updated. Any air terminals that you have added or any air terminals that you have deleted, it will update your search set. Okay? So, that is what will happen. Okay? So, that's why most of the time what we use here is search set so that it's... Uh, future proof okay so instead of redoing again your sets by selecting it again so just use a search set okay so there's a difference between the that is the difference between the uh, selection set and search set okay by the way you can also right click and then you can see some of the options here wherein you can update the model you can duplicate, you can rename, okay, you can add some comment, you can also create some folder, okay, that's the folder, let's say for example, this is uh, docting, okay, you can drag this one, put it inside the folder, okay, that's it, right, you can also copy, you can also add comment, okay, so basically this is how you save your uh, sets so it's either selection set or search set okay but it would be better as a personal opinion to use search set okay All right so hopefully this video has been uh, helpful to you guys if you have any comments or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can
Okay. All right. So this is our selection set. This is our search set. All right. Okay. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.